Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching the Inside Scoop. I'm your host, Steve Scanlon. On stage with me is one of my guests, or should I say my guest, <laughs> Joe. Hello. Welcome, Joe. Hello. Now, we're going to do a split show today. Later on, we're going to have Bubba hosting, and his guest making her return will be Emily. So we have a great show for you all today. Now... We're going to talk about wrestling, and that's basically it, unless we talk about a few other things other than that. But, again, main topic for tonight's episode is wrestling, so let's get things started. Joe has written down the results of the WWE Fastlane pay-per-view mm -hmm. that happened this past Sunday. So without further ado, I'll let you read the results. Uh, the women's tag team titles uh, Shayna Baszler, Nia Jax versus Bianca Belair and Sasha Banks. And the title was retained by Shayna and Nia Jax. Hmm. The universal title guest in ring enforcer, inside enforcer was Edge. Uh, Roman, get Roman Reigns against Daniel Bryan. Roman Reigns won. The ice uh, Intercontinental title match, Big E versus Apollo, Big E won. Mm. Uh, this next match was a no holds barred match between Drew McIntyre and Sheamus. Drew won. Uh, we had an intergender match between Alexa Bliss and Randy Orton, and Alexa won with a little help from the return of her buddy, returned that night. Are you referring to The Fiend? Yep. Well, he made his return. Yep. How does he look now? Because last time he was on WWE TV, he got burned by Randy Orton. It looks like the face mask looks like it, uh, he's wearing it. It looks like it was piled, so it was burned. Oh, okay. Uh, we had, well, originally this match was supposed to be Strowman against Shane, but Shane supposedly got hurt before the pay per view. Yeah, and, and he got hurt training. That, that was a lie, actually. It was a lie. Yeah, <laughs> found okay, out Monday night. Though. It was a lie. Okay, so did someone take Shane's place for that match? Or was Elias. Match canceled? Elias. He got Elias to take his place. Oh, okay. And Strowman won. Uh, the United States title, Matt R uh, Riddle against Mustafa Ali, and Riddle won. And it was Shinsuke Nakamura against Seth Rollins. Rollins won. Hmm. That's about it. That's all for that. Yeah. Now, um, the next WWE pay-per-view will be the granddaddy of them all. But yep. Probably the most popular pay-per-view for wrestling. That's my opinion. It's WrestleMania. People might disagree with me. Um, Joe, your opinion. What is the most... Um, how should I put this into a form of a question? The most popular pay-per-view? Pop yeah, I, I want to use popular, but I want to also use um, the biggest as a word to describe this pay-per-view. Um, what is... I'll use both words. The most biggest popular pay-per-view in wrestling, do you think? I would say would be WrestleMania. Yeah. That one's been around the longest of, of all of them. True. Now, um, I was supposed to leave the pay-per-view results. I have Emily read them, but I apologize. She can read the Emily. preview of the next the She next can one. read the preview for what, the WrestleMania? Yep. But also, too, you have... Or induction or inductions for the yeah Hall we of already know it's one induction for this year already so why don't we save that for Emily to mention later yeah. now one thing that they're doing this year because they didn't do it last year was the 2020 inductions to the Hall of Fame WWE they're gonna have this year announced mm. with the 2021 induction um, members. Mm -hmm. So that's going to be interesting. It's going to be a full stage. Matter of fact, I think NWO was, what, 2020? Yep. So with those members, how are we going to fit everyone on the stage? I don't know that's if they're going to have all of them. I remember they only showed the picture of 
main three, I think. Oh, uh, Hogan. And the outsiders. Outsiders. And I think they um, also showed X Pac. You didn't see X Pac in um, one Not of the Alex videos? I don't remember if they I did. I know Hogan it. mentioned um, X Pac. So, um, Speaking of Hogan, him and Titus O'Neil are hosting WrestleMania this year. Oh, no kidding. Yep. Okay, cool. Is WrestleMania going to be a one night or a two night two. pay per view this year? The two, April two 10th night. and 11th. So that's going to be a Saturday and a Sunday? Yep. Like last year? Yep. And so um, I was going to ask you what match you're looking forward to, but Emily's going to announce their matches later. So we'll leave that for her to mention. Now, this is show, this is wrestling related. I'm going to jump off the WWE topic real quick. This is a show that debuted um, a okay. couple months ago. Yes. It's called A Young Rock. Yes. And Dwayne Johnson, um, The Rock, makes appearances on it. And the storyline behind this show is they um, have someone playing The Rock as a um, kid. And yeah. now I think they're up to his teenage years right now. Well, they go in, they go in and out of different three time frames of his life. Like and his we've been watching um, the episodes, and I, I like the show. Yeah. If, if, I think it's entertaining because The Rock, as he always says, the um, best um, entertainer, most electrifying entertainer yeah. in sports entertainment. But I, I actually like how the show is, is doing right now. Yeah. It's interesting. Because not only is it Entertaining, but it's good to see them bring, um, even though there's other characters for the most part playing these wrestlers of the 1970s and 1980s, it's good to see people, you know, like the Junkyard Dog, yeah. the Rock's dad, uh, Rock Johnson, yeah. um, who else, Joe? The Wild the Giant, Samoans, the Wild Andre, Samoans, they had someone playing Vince. Oh, look. There's one episode that I didn't miss, however. That must have been the one that they showed Vince, right? Maybe. Yeah. Now, it's on Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. Yeah. on um, NBC. Yeah. And I, there was a girl on there who I think was a young Stephanie McMahon. Or uh, actually, wrong. no. I think Stephanie, Stephanie wasn't even grown up yet at that time. No. No, she was just she oh, was a okay. child, I think, at that time. Oh, they had the Macho Man on there. Yeah. The late Macho Man. Yeah, the late Junkyard Dog. Same thing with Junkyard Dog. And so um, I'm going to have to watch that one episode that I missed on On Demand. Excuse me. Okay, um, you left us in suspense, Joe, prior to tonight's taping. You mentioned something about a wrestler who passed away, or you ever noticed uh, someone yeah, who passed away? Yeah, I found out on YouTube. The uncle of Randy Orton, Barry O. Oh, Barry O passed away? Yep. Wow. I remember seeing Barry O on TV. Um, Me too. Not uh, back in the 70s, but um, 80s or whenever he was at home. Um, actually, or did I? But within the last five years, when I was watching um, matches from that era, I um, saw Barry O yeah, so matches. She wrestling on like superstars, original superstar, superstars of wrestling and wrestling challenge. Hmm. Now, um, there was another, I know it's not the same guy, but remember Barry Howerich? Yeah. The guy who used to pat himself <laughs> on the shoulder? Yeah. That was a great gimmick. As a matter of fact, the dictate was also his birthday too today too. Yes. Barry Howard. Yeah. Oh wow. And the Undertaker's too today. Well. Huh? Yeah, Joe, I gotta apologize to you. Um, <laughs> when I picked you up, you brought your notebook with you, and um, you have are. a Mookie Bits <laughs> shirt on. <laughs> I saw the back of you. It says Bits fifty. <laughs> So I thought you would take plate. Uh, I thought you were taking bets for tonight's um, sports games. No. 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 Oh, because you, well, you have bets written on your shirt and you have a notebook. And I thought you had a pen, but you said no. you didn't have a pen. I was going to place my bets on the Celtics tonight. 
Hmm. Okay, interesting. All right. Um, with WrestleMania coming up, that's the next pay per view for the yep. WWE. Now, I would like to mention um, that you're going to have actual live people in the audience. Yep. Now, the numbers of fans and attendance keep changing because with Vince McMahon originally wanted what I heard 45,000 fans both nights. He um, changed his mind, dropped it down to twenty to 25,000 because I guess... Um, there's still a lot of people who are still um, catching the COVID-19. Well, what they're doing this year with WrestleMania there, besides doing the safe distance, taking people's temperatures, they're actually giving fans face masks to be safe. So um, that'll be good to actually see people. I mean, I... Don't mind the Thunderdome. The Thunderdome that they've been having on WWE pay-per-views and their Raw and SmackDown. I don't mind that, the Thunderdome. You know, mm, people. That's inside a baseball stadium. <coughs> yeah, it's going to be at... Um, no, the, where no, the Thunderdome uh, is, that's, that's a baseball oh, stadium. Really? I didn't know that. Yeah, the Tampa Bay Devil Rays I thought, field. Dude, I was going to say, WrestleMania is going to take place at a football um, Yeah, where, where the Super Bowl took place this year. Right. And um, Tom Brady um, did his thing. You know, okay, he had his buddy Gronk with him. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Seven um, football ring, um, Super Bowl rings. <laughs> hmm, interesting. Uh, talk about the Gronk. Will he make his return for WrestleMania? I, I mean, don't last know. I knew, well, he left WWE to do one season of football. Now that football's gone. Will we see the return of the Gronk during yeah. the off season? So he is a former WWE champion. We're actually Do we uh, still 24 have the 7 champion. Twenty four seven title. Yeah, they still, they still have, have yeah. that. Okay. Yeah. It'll be I interesting think, to see the uh, Gronk. Truth has it right now. Ah, okay. Hmm. Now, um, one thing um I like to mention um. Well, I don't want to mention WrestleMania match because Emily's going to do that, but I can't believe how tall oh, that yes. guy who... I, I, I keep forgetting he, his name. He's Olmos, with H.A. Olmos. H.A. Styles. Olmos. Is he like seven... I, I mean, obviously, uh, he's over seven feet tall, but is he like close to eight feet? I have no idea. There's yeah. like, my opinion, there's like two, two and a half feet difference in the height between him and H.A. Styles. And H.A. Styles... I mean, I don't know how tall he is, but I don't think he's short. Ray Mysterio was short, but AJ Styles probably average height, probably between five eight to six feet, six feet something. Mm -hmm. But seeing how tall he is, I mean, they called him a giant this past week on Raw. Um, when was it New Day? Yeah, New Day was um, Kofi Kingston against AJ Styles mm. in the match, and um, they were. Referring to the other guy there as the giant. <coughs> hmm. Yep. All right, now, um, with the Hall of Fame um, coming up, um, are you going to announce or are you going to have Emily announce their inductees to the Hall of Fame? Um, I thought that you, that you suggested to her to do that. Okay. Well, I forget what I said a minute ago. <laughs> All right, well, um, with the Hall of Fame is um, Lay going to be able to be fitted onto one stage, and that's going to be interesting. You know, like I said earlier, how they're going to fit all those people on one stage. But I think, I mean, besides this year, it's going to be different where they're going to have two years of Hall of Fame is on stage. I'm glad that the 2020 crew, who didn't get to, you know, celebrate making it to the Hall of Fame, finally be able to um, get their ring in front of our audience, or at least in front of the camera, you know, at their WrestleMania people. Well, games. one of them is going to be a family member is going to be accepting for them. Oh, really? Who, who's that? So someone who the passed away. Oh, okay. Now, was he in the 2020 induction? Yes. Okay. Hmm. All right, well, um, well, 
Time has flown by. Okay, well. We don't even got the segment yet at all. <laughs> we skipped the segment. What segment? The celebrity deaths. <laughs> All right, so um, <laughs> celebrity deaths, real quick. Uh, this is, this is time there. I uh, have a segment. <laughs> celebrity deaths, real quick. Uh, Jeremy Bullock, who played Boba Fett in the Star Wars movies. Oh, okay. Uh, the sixth member of the Gilligan's Island crew, Don Wells, who played Marianne, passed. MLB pitcher Phil Necro. Oh. Charlie's Angels, that 70s show star, Tony Roberts. Hmm. Former manager of the LA Dodgers and guest ring announcer at WrestleMania 2, Tommy Lasorda. Police Academy's Marion Ramsey. Oh, she the one with that um, light voice? Yep. Um, the other half of Siegfried and Roy Siegfried. Um, the wife, I should say, the widow of Mr. Fred Rogers. Uh, Joanne Rogers passed. Actor Peter Mark Richmond. Uh, MLB legend Hank Aaron. Hmm. Talk show host Larry King. So I know you guys probably won't know who this is. There's another one I know of. Babylon, Babylon 5 star Mira Furlan. I'm familiar with. I don't know who uh, actress Cloris Leachman from the Mary Tyler Moore show. Hmm. Actress Cecily, Cecily Tyson. Um, Saved by the Bell star, S Dustin Diamond Screech. Hmm. Actor Hal Holbrook. Uh, Barney Miller star, Gregory Sierra. Sound and music star, Christopher Plummer. Wrestler, The Natural Butch Reed. Hmm. Rush Limbaugh. Hmm. And WA promoter, Jim Crockett Jr. Wayne, Gret Wayne Gretzky's father, uh, Walter Gretzky. There's another one someone I'm familiar with. Original Dark Shadow, 1960s Dark Shadow star, Christopher Pennock. Uh, I think this guy was worked with CBS News, uh, Roger Mudd. Boxer, Marvelous Marvin Hagler. Hmm. Actor, Yafat Kodo. Uh, this actor, I've seen this guy in many TV shows. Actor, Henry Darrow. Actor George Seagal, and you already mentioned Barry O. Hmm. All right, well, thank you, Joe, for your um, info. And coming on stage, folks, will be Bubba and Emily. Who and who? <laughs> well, good morning again, Inside Scoop fans. First, I want to welcome back after a new <laughs> long time off. Yeah. Emily's back. It's been Hi. a while since we saw you, Em. Yeah. Did you have good holidays? And yeah, did you? Yes. Yeah, it's been, remember, that's the last time we saw you. It was in November, so yeah. it's been a while. They mentioned the, you know, the list you had. We, I also want to mention uh, folks who, who passed away, go back to a kind of a morbid situation right off the bat. They forgot to mention Elgin Baylor, ex-basketball great, and played for the uh, Los Angeles, uh, for the, uh, yeah, for the Lakers. Good player, 86 year old, former All Star. And on a personal level, I had the pleasure once of meeting Marvelous Marvin Hagler, and that was his actual legal name. He changed it to Marvelous. Great guy, 66 years old. Um, he was a really nice guy. He lived, of course, he was a local legend from Brockton. He was he was down was living up in New Hampshire. Oh, he was local. Yeah, he was from he was from Brockton. He was oh. trained by uh, Goody Petronelli. And Jake had actually had known Marvelous Marvin Hagler, Jake Bredesen. Oh, he did? He saw Marvelous Marvin Hagler when he was a young rookie, and he worked with him a little bit with, with Goody Petronelli. I mean, the folks don't know that. Um, well, we, we kind of got segued in a little bit to some of our things that are coming up. Why don't we go with our Hall of Fame list first? Oh. The old one from 2020, if Joey has it there, and then we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll get to the new one. So from 2020, it's had Batista, NWO, the Bella Twins, JBL, um, British Bulldog, and Justin Liger. Just Justin Thunder Liger. Now, there's rumors on the internet. I've heard this and I've read this that Batista's not going to be able to make the show. I guess he's filming something. So there's a chance that Batista may not go into the Hall of Fame. If he's not going to be there, I don't know if somebody's going to represent him or. 
So but that's on your Roma. I, they I, might just cut them out completely. They might. They might. It's good to see someone like like JBL in there. I, I I have my my thoughts on that, and so also let's go to the 2021 list, and we could also mention who we think is a couple of people that should go into the Hall of Fame, if you can put them wrestlers. So the 2021 is Molly Holly and Eric Bischoff. Yes, they just mentioned Easy Eric Bischoff, but I'm shocked they're putting Easy into the Hall of Fame, but they are. You're not the only one. I just I don't think he belongs in the Hall of Fame. That's just my opinion. But I, mean, I he just was said a, that to Joey. <laughs> he was our main competition, WCW. I mean, I. He was okay. He was a good businessman, good marketer, but I don't know. What do I know? Now, who, 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 we've discussed this before at one time. Who do you think else belongs in the Hall of Fame? I can name one person right off the bat. Who? Bam Bam Bigelow. He's not in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Bam Bam Bigelow, I think, should be in the Hall of Fame. I don't know if there was a controversy on him because his name was mentioned a couple years ago. He should be in the Hall of Fame, I believe. I think um, Demolition should be in Hall yeah, of Fame. Yeah, Demolition should definitely be in the Hall of Fame, yeah. and they're not in. Owen Hart. I definitely oh, Owen Hart, yeah. but see, I, I guess his wife has asked WWE not to put him in. Yeah, I've heard that. If you've heard rumors of that, too. But, I mean, Mark Henry pleaded with the family a couple years ago, if you remember during his speech when he went into the Hall of Fame, to let Owen go into the Hall of Fame. Because mm -hmm. I guess Mark had trained at one time up in the hot dungeon and got really close to Owen. Oh, he did? Yes. So, uh, he was, well, he mentioned it on the interview that, uh, with the Hall of Fame ceremony a couple of years ago. Oh, yeah. Um, well, it's, we, have a few minutes, we have a few minutes left here. Do you want to go with the WrestleMania? Let's go with the WrestleMania and we could talk a bit about it. So, like Joey said, it's hosted by Hulk Hogan and Titus O'Neil. And then the matches are the Universal title, which is Roman Reigns versus Edge. And then the SmackDown Women's title is Sasha Banks versus Bianca Belair. Then the WWE title is Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre with the Hurt Business boarded from Ringside. Raw tag titles is New Day versus AJ Styles and Omis. The Raw, Woman, Raw Women's title is Oscar versus Rhea Ripley. That's interesting. The next one is Bad Bunny versus The Miss. The next one is Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt. Okay, let's go back to some of these matches and, and give our predictions. Okay. I think it's a good thing to do. I know we're kind of stealing a little bit of maybe Steve and uh, Joey's thunder, but let's do that. Go back and start with the first match. Roman Reigns versus Edge. That could be the bond burner of the night. That could be one of the best matches of yeah. the, entire, the, the entire night. I, I, I'm going with Edge. I'm going, I think WWE's going to take a title of Roman for a while and put it on Edge. Yeah. I, I think Edge will, will win that match. I think they... Stevie's picking Edge, and it's gonna be unanimous. We're gonna help. We're all saying Edge. I think they're doing that because they gave Edge the lead by winning the Royal Rumble, so now mm -hmm. they're probably gonna put all the weight on him now mm -hmm. for winning. Well, Roman needs some time off too. Yeah, he hasn't had any for a while. The next one: Sasha Banks versus Bianca Belair. I, th I'm going. Oh, I think. I think Bianca Belair is going to win this match. I think they, they're giving Bianca the push. They're giving her so, the slight yeah. push. And also, Sasha hasn't had any time off for a bit. So. No. So the, I mean, she like took a I long said, time off a couple of years ago, but that was a couple of years ago. The same thing with Roman Reigns and Eggs thing. I think Bianca's going to get all the weight, too. Mm -hmm. The next one is Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre. Bobby Lashley's going against Drew McIntyre? That's what it says here. I thought... I thought Drew McIntyre was going for the title against... Oh, yeah, going against Bobby Lashley. He's the champion now. Duh. <laughs> I'm awake. <laughs> Too many Glasgow kisses. I, I, wait a minute. Steve, is, is your brain cells rubbing off on this chair? <laughs> well, uh, that's going to be an interesting match. It's going to be... A, a, I think it's going to be no winner in that match. Mm. I just think they could... Because they can keep that going until SummerSlam. They really could. I'm going to say Lashley. You're going to say Lashley's going to win? Yeah. Well, I know they like Drew McIntyre because he gets really good ratings. Yeah. I mean, Bobby Lashley has no, no voice skills at all. He, has just, he just doesn't talk well. He's not no. a good talk. He never has been. The next one is Raw, Raw Tag Titles, New Day versus AJ and Omis. I think somehow they're going to pin AJ. I think New Day wins that match. They're going to get Omis out of the match. I don't know how. I mean, the guy's a giant. He's huge. He's like 
seven foot five or six. Mine's different than you. I think for some reason, I think New Day is gonna somehow knock out AJ and then somehow get Ole Miss on the knees and just beat him. So then he, they can pin him. So New, I think New Day too. Hmm. Then the Raw Women's title is Oscar versus Rhea Ripley. That could be a great match. Two people who can really work. I mean. Offensive juggernauts, both of them, both tough as nails. He couldn't get maybe a, a, a tougher match. I think Oscar wins the match because they don't want to. I, I can't see him giving Rhea Ripley a push too quick. But Does that's she, a, that's a feud that they could debut. Right? Yeah, pretty much. So this going to be her debut match. It's going to be WrestleMania. So yeah, I'm going to say Rhea Ripley because I think they're going to quickly push her in. Mm hmm. It's interesting. Bad Bunny versus The Miz. Yeah. <laughs> Next. I don't care about Bad Bunny. <laughs> Against the Miz. The Miz should kill him. <laughs> I was very confused on that one when I read it. Mindy Oyen versus Bay Wyatt. That's been going on and on and on, but I think somehow Randy Orton wins the match, but not at a pinfall. It's going to be like a, a disqualification or an interruption. Or and it's going to end the feud between them. I have a yeah, feeling. It has to end it soon. Yeah, it's so getting, I... It's, it's tying on it's too long. It's getting to be... It's kind getting of, kind of boring. Yeah, exactly. My opinion. I'm going to say Randy exactly. Orton, too, yeah. And that's it. Yeah, that's the, some good predictions for WrestleMania. I was reading it. I was like, Bad Bunny, huh? Bad Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> not the guy from... Uh, not the guy from No Way Jose's conga line, you know? I knew who he was. I just didn't know he was all there. <laughs> and, of course, you mentioned earlier about the 24-7 champion. Yes, uh, our truth is a 69-time... 69. 69th time. <laughs> yes. He, he always wins it back. <laughs> I know. Well, he, he gets well, actually, pinned. He got it back once without even having the match for it. Yeah, it got, it, got, it got forfeited to him by Bad Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> we can't get away from Bad Bunny. <laughs> uh, I, I can. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I know it's a little off subject. Steve mentioned we're going to be talking wrestling a lot, but just the fact that the Patriots, I'm getting excited for the Patriots this year. The, they've, we have some new faces coming back. So, I mean, Trent Brown, Kyle Van Noy's coming back. Uh, I just just read on my phone, literally f during the show, that they <laughs> yeah. talk about uh, getting White back. Our, our, uh, really? Running back, yeah, they want to sign him. Um, the Patriots have made 12 free agent signings, so they're trying to... Seems like they took away the whole team. I mean, the, mo the most shocking one, though, is Cam Newton. I can't believe Cam's coming back, but I think they have uh, something in the works, though. Alex Smith, I think, is still out there. I think they should go after Alex Smith. Yeah. It's my opinion. He seems pretty good. No, I can't believe our, our time has gone by this, I know, right? this quickly. I'd like to thank Double ACS for allowing us back to do our show. I'd like to thank our director for directing us, Steve, for allowing me and them to come in and, and do our part and give our, our 10 cents on this show. Uh, I th thank you all for watching, and uh, rest in peace, Marvelous. There's, that rings in the sky for you, buddy. Bye. Take care. Bye-bye.